guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really, really excited to try on and show you my August box control. So normally I would um, be making my Etsy video, but in late July I canceled my Etsy video and I signed up for Boxy Charm most for multiple reasons. One, I used to pay ten dollars for Etsy and then my dad started paying the ten dollars. So now I'm paying ten dollars and he's paying ten dollars for Boxy Charm. You know what you know what I mean? So I'm paying the same amount for Boxy Charm and I used to pay for Etsy. But Boxy Charm is giving me five to six full size items in each box. And lately they've been putting palettes in their box that I was gonna buy anyway. So for ten dollars I'm getting five full size items that I probably would have bought, at least one of them. So it's a great deal. Like I said, the box is twenty one dollars, but my dad's paying ten dollars and I'm paying ten dollars. So it's a great deal for me. So I signed up in late July and they actually were able to send me the July box, but I got it in like on like the last day of July. So I thought it was a little bit late to film the video. So I'm gonna be doing my eyeshadow first. I'm really excited. I'm actually gonna buy this palette anyway, but this is the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Palette. Now Laura um is a YouTuber, a beauty YouTuber, and she came out with her own makeup brand and she only has she has two finger eyeshadow palettes, um, a few liquid lipsticks. I think she has an eyeliner and a lip pencil maybe. But uh, she just came out with these two um small palettes. Um one of them is a tiny animal and one of them is the boss babe. The boss babe has more neutral colors. It's like a neutral glam palette. But this is a party animal. I am so excited. I've been looking for like a really pigmented colorful palette and I'm hoping that this is it. It has a yellow in it which is like not like the typical yellow that you would normally see. It's a chartreuse yellow and then it has a matte orange, a matte really pretty blue, a very glittery pink that I'm going to be using today. Um, and this really shimmery purple color, and a shimmery satiny, um, royal blue color. So, they're very, very, very neon. I love the packaging of it. It, is, it feels really nice, but also sleek and compact, and it's very flexible. So, the mirror is in back. I can hold it like this. So, I really like the packaging. It's really cute. And why don't we just go ahead and try it out? I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is the original one. And I'm going to be using my Royal and Magnifical Precision Angle Brush. And I'm just going to put this to prime my eye. For some reason, my eyelids are really, really dry, so... I probably should have put a moisturizer on them, but it's a little too late for that now. The swatches on the palette didn't look great, but they didn't look bad. Um, I'm hoping that they look a little bit better than they do in the swatches when they're on my eyes. Also, I have an appointment today, so I hope I don't look too wild. I'm first going to take my... This is like a fluffy blending brush from Mia Cosmetic, and I'm going to take the orange color right here. The orange color is called Drapes with an A, like Drapes but with an A, which is funny because Laura, she is very, very southern, and she said concealer, oh, like oil, but oh, and Drapes. <laughs> That's funny. I'm just going to put this right in my crease. I didn't set my eyelid either because, I don't know, just for fun. So, the orange is pretty pigmented. I mean, you have to build it up if you want a really, really nice orange. But it's a lot more pigmented than a lot of the other oranges I've ever tried. So, I'm pretty 
too happy with the orange. I didn't want it to be too pigmented because that would be like a little bit crazy, so it's perfect. The orange that was really, really nice. Okay, can you see? This shade is really, really nice. I really, really like this shade. It is very pigmented and very, very pretty. I am pleasantly surprised. Now I'm going to take this Royal and Magnificent Jewel in and brush. And I'm just going to take the shade. It's a party right here, the, um, the chartreuse color. And a lot comes off on the brush. It almost looks like glow in the dark. This shade has quite a bit of pickup. Actually, I think it is kind of loosely pressed. Um, now let's try this. I'm just going to blend this with the, um, orange and kind of, let's just see what happens. Okay, I see. So it really just lightened up the orange a lot. So I kind of wish I hadn't done that, but it's okay. So, the chartreuse color is kind of eh, you don't really see it. It just sort of zones down the orange. Um, I was actually most excited for the chartreuse color. I really, really like, um, like really bright yellow eyeshadows. And I haven't found the perfect one yet. But, um, so far my favorite shade in the palette is Drinks, which is the orange. Now I'm going to be taking this pink colored at the bottom with this flat brush from Claire's. Y'all know I always use this brush from Claire's um, for my shimmer shade on my lid. This pink color is really, really pretty. I'm not going to be spraying it with any um, setting spray yet, just to see how it works when it's dry. Ooh, I really like it. This pink color is super, super pigmented. I barely, like, touched the tan, and oh my gosh. I didn't spray my brush or anything. It picks it up really, really well, and it really, it's really, really pigmented. It's very, very pretty. So, on the lid, the pink color doesn't look as shimmery. You can see, um, like a sparkle here and there, but it sort of looks like a matte pink with glitter and reality. But it is a really, really nice color. Um, also, my eyeshadow fabric is really nice, so, um, if you're, if you have this palette and you don't like it as much, try getting the Urban Decay Primer Potion. It makes eyeshadows look really a lot better. This is a very, very, very pigmented eyeshadow. I think I'm going to add a little bit more on the orange color to the crease because I feel like it got blended away a little bit. But I'm going to sort of blend the pink and the orange together a little bit. Okay, let me show you what I have. I'm going to hold this up so that the light will be balanced. But, um, here it is. This is what it looks like. It's very, very vibrant and very summery and very, very colorful. I really like the palette. Um, that's my first impression. They're very pigmented. I think, um, I'm definitely going to be using the pink color a lot. Um, I think that's my favorite color in the palette. The orange color is actually really, really nice, too. I haven't tried the blues and the purple, but in the swatches, the purple look really, really pigmented. I just don't wear a lot of full tone colors or blue colors on my eyelids because they just don't complement me very much. I forgot to mention, I also got these. These are Wander. The beauty is called... The brand is called Wander Beauty. This is a baggage claim. Hold the eye mask. Um, and this is like a pair of, you know those foam things that you see under people's eyes? That's what they are, and they're supposed to get rid of your under eye bags. But I don't really have under eye bags, so I'm gonna give this to my mom because my mom wanted them. But I'll let you know in the description what 
Okay, my next item in the phone is this tart misted mascara in the shade black brown. So I've never used a brown mascara. Um, my natural lashes are like the black brown color, so I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, I haven't really heard anything about the tart mascaras. Actually, Kathy might doesn't really like the, the tart mascaras, but I'm gonna try them. So, and this is what the mascara looks like. I really love the feel of it. It feels like, um, silicone sort of. You know those umbrellas with the handle that's kind of squishy feeling? It's like that, I guess. It feels sort of silicone-like, but I'll show you up close. As you guys know, I'm very, very particular about my mascara. Um, I found a new one that you will see in my um, favorites this month. But if you follow me on Instagram, which by the way is down in the description below, you will know what my favorite mascara is. So, anyway, let's just try it. doesn't look the brightest so far. It smells not good. I do not like the smell. Okay, it's not too bad. Okay, I actually really like it. It's really cute. Um, I think it thickens my eyelashes. My eyelashes are actually a lot longer than this mascara made them look, so I feel like it made them look shorter, which is interesting. Um, I like that it curls them a little bit, so I tried a lot worse mascara, and this one is pretty decent. I really, really love this mascara. It's really nice. I didn't think I was gonna like it at all, but I really do. By the way, the mascara that I was talking about a minute ago, my favorite mascara, I actually got in my July Boxy Charm. So, Boxy Charm has sent me two of my new favorite mascaras. You know what looks like? My eyes are really red for some reason. I don't know why. But I really love this. It's doing great things for my lashes. Okay, very nice. So far, so good. I'm gonna rate the eyeshadow palette a 4 out of 5, I think, because the yellow didn't really wow me, but I really, really like the pink and the, um, the orange, so I really like the palette overall. And the mascara, I'm gonna also give a 4 out of 5, maybe a 4 out of 5. I think they're actually both a 4 out of 5 out of 5 because they're really, really good, but they're not like, they're not good enough for a five, but they're really, really good. The next item is this Bang Beauty, sorry, this is the box. Um, Bang Beauty, this is the Bang Beauty Chocolate Eyeliner, but it, it says you can also use it for an eyeshadow base, um, for your eyebrows, so I think I'm going to use it for my eyebrows, it's in the shade chocolate um it wouldn't really go at, with my look and eyeliner and i already swatched it with my brush so i think i'm going to be using it for my eyebrows and i'm going to press my fingers that it isn't too dark by the way the eyeshadow palette costs 19 dollars um and the mascara costs 23 dollars the eye mask costs 13 dollars and the eyeliner stuff that I'm about to use cost $22. So, the eyeliner slash eyebrow slash eyeshadow base comes in this little glass jar, and my sister and my mom both pointed out that the entire jar is glass. And in the very, very top is product. <laughs> Look at this. All this is glass. 
Only the top layer is the actual product. So, that's interesting. So, I hope that this isn't too dark for my eyebrows. Um, I usually go with very light hand on the eyebrows. I'm just fixing my eyelashes real quick. I really, really like this mascara. It's really nice. Okay, so, I'm going to be using this Amos brush from Players. It came with that other one that I used on for the pink color on my eyelid. But, um, I'm just going to try this out. And I hope it's not too dark. It's very natural, and I have very, very light eyebrows, so, um, <laughs> I feel like I would use this if I was doing a very, very natural look, but, um, I don't think I would ever use this as an eyeliner, so that's interesting. Yeah, you have to build it up a lot, but I kind of like it. It's very, very natural, and I like very light brows on myself, so I can see myself using this again. It is kind of a pain in the butt to get it how I want it. This is taking a very long time. Okay, I think that's as good as my eyebrows are going to get. I'll give this product a 3 because it did the job, but um, it's not even really meant for your eyebrows. It's meant for um, an eyeliner, but it said you can even use it to touch up your eyebrows. Um, I would say this would not work as an eyeliner very well, but you know, for an eyebrow thing, it's very, it's doable. So, I made it a three. I also forgot to mention, I got this NCLA So Rich Lollipop Lollipop. I don't know what that means, but that's what it's called. This is a cuticle oil, and it smells like um, vanilla cotton candy, so it has a really nice scent. This retails for $18, and... I haven't used this because I just got my nails done, but um, next time I get my nails done, I'll put this on beforehand. I don't have any cuticles, like visible cuticles, but um, my mom said I can use it to moisturize my nails, so I'll use it for that next time. I'm going to go finish up the rest of my face and I'll be right back for the last product. Okay, so I have my face makeup on and now it is time for the last product. Um, I've never really had a lip palette. I always thought they were interesting. I probably had like a cheap one when I was really little, but this is a Smashbox lip palette, so that's kind of exciting. This is what it looks like. These are the shades. They're pretty neutral, so that's good for me. It also comes with this little card, and you can mix the different colors on and make a custom color. And it comes with a really cute lip brush. I really like these colors. And let's see. I think I'm gonna run with I'm gonna run with this one. And the brush didn't seem to pick it up very well. Okay, let's try it. Uh there's not much pigment coming off. Okay, I see it. I think I'm going to take something darker because it doesn't seem to be very pigmented. I'm going to take the one next to the darkest shade. It's not really showing up on my brush, like, at all. So, 
Maybe I just need a different brush. But it seems to even work with the one that it came with. Okay, I can see it. A little bit better, but... Um, Okay, it's not really my thing. I mean, it's kind of showing up. It's very natural, so I feel like if I were to use this, it would be on like a no makeup makeup day. But, uh, I mean, I can see it. I don't hate it, but I feel like I'm going to use it very often. Okay, I didn't even realize the, um, shade on, the shade didn't know on the back of the palette. And also, can you see? <laughs> um, I'm going to give this like a two and a half because it didn't allow me, I won't use it very often, but it's great. But it certainly isn't terrible. Um, it's okay. <laughs> so this is what I look like up close. I really like the eyeshadow and the mascara. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel right down below. I'll have all these things linked in the description below along with the calculated total value of this box. Anyway, that's it for the video. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It'll also be in the description below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Um, they are, my eyelashes are a lot, a lot longer. Right.